If you're a beginner welder, have you ever asked yourself, do I push or do I pull while welding? I'll be showing you two examples today of a push method and a pull method of welding. In most cases, pushing or pulling uh, is up to your personal preference or comfortability. In some cases, welding aluminum or welding overhead, you have to do one or the other, but for the most part, it's up to you which way you want to weld. For this example, I'll be using quarter inch coal rolled steel in a T-joint. My MIG welder is a Millermatic 252. I'm using 7525. For this example, I use the push technique. Um, as you can see, the weld laid down extremely flat. It seemed like a hot weld and it was easy to control my dime size, my bead size and puddle size. So in this example, I use the pull technique. And if you notice, I had to haul the mail so I wouldn't get too much uh, material buildup. I personally like to use the pull method when I'm filling gaps or uneven surfaces. Regardless of which style you're using to weld, whether it's push or whether it's pull, you'll always have a better quality weld if you're comfortable. So bracing your arms, laying down, bracing your hands while you're welding will always make you more comfortable while you're welding.